Hello and welcome to my uh, little tutorial here on uh, how to fix a problem I've got with my models that have surface mapping applied to them. Here you can see this brick wall. Okay, if we look at the corners of these bricks and then we walk around to the other side, whoa, wait a second, that, that doesn't look right. And it sure isn't right. So if we wanted like this wall to be made up of like like one layer deep of bricks, well, well, look here, especially on the top, it's really obvious that the seams for the bricks, they don't match up at all. Um, and this just isn't any good. So I'm going to jump over here to Rhino 6. Um, and I'm going to import that model which I built with Rhino and so we can see that the texture mapping or the UV mapping is yep it's crap doesn't match now I just applied nor the general service mapping not thinking anything about it but you know once we got into looking at it a little bit closer we we're like well this is not a realistic looking wall okay so we're going to select it and we're going to then pull out its UV map here. Now we can see that this is the, these are the front and back faces. And what happens is that it wraps, it's, it's wrapped the wall model, which is a rectangle with six sides. Like it's like we've wrapped it with wrapping paper and it's mirrored the um, texture on the back going in the same direction. Well, okay, so how to fix it. Now I turn Gumball on here. Now you see as I fiddle with the UV mode for that one surface that it changes it on the model. So the best fix here is we need to first of all We need to stretch the front and back face across the entire texture. I've got snap on, so it makes it a little bit cleaner and easier. Yep, okay. So now the texture covers the entire front and back face. All right, now I'm gonna come around and pick the back face all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna reverse this so it's going okay we're gonna use gumball we're gonna stretch this like this and it disappeared okay well that happens sometimes okay just got to find the right one let's see here we will undo and let's grab the front one that'll work better with the front one And we'll reverse it. Okay, now let's take a look. Let's let's find. Look at this brick right up here in the corner. Does it match on both sides as if it was a single brick? It sure does. Let's check this one down here. Yep, that little L corner of those two bricks matches up on the front and the back, and that's the effect that we want. Now, this is the top. We can see that the seams are really ugly, don't match up. And so, just stretching it like we did the front and back isn't going to fix this because it's facing the wrong direction what we've got to do let's find the center we're gonna we're gonna rotate this we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees boom all right now let's take a look oh yeah look at that the seams for the brick on the bottom 
and on the top match up perfectly. All right. So let's go ahead and now fix the sides. Now the sides, they are going their correct direction. However, because we stretched the front and back face to cover the entire breadth of the um, texture, we, we need to do the same for the sides. So we're just going to stretch these out, um, kind of off center a little bit. Let me stretch that. Um, still not right. Oh, okay. We need to center this better. Let's undo. Make sure we're in the center. There we go. And stretch. Okay. Well, and what do we got? Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Just one, two little things I might do to to make it a little bit better see that one yeah see see that right there that that doesn't look right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bump over the um, to somewhere to a, to a sweeter spot I'm gonna do that on this side too a, a little bit sweeter spot so we don't get ugly seams where we don't want them here for the ends now, usually the ends aren't going to really be seen because these walls will will be will be layered next to one another, and this is a seamless tiled texture, so it'll all look like one wall. So you really don't see the corners. Plus, I've got end caps for most of the walls. So, but. All right, now what we need to do is go ahead and export this. This in utilizing 3DS. Now let's go back to Unity. Pop. All right. It's looking good. And sure enough, the bricks on the corners are looking pretty good. And Let's take a look on this. Okay, and and it it's not matching up like we saw it in Rhino because I have the tiling offset uh, different for this wall than what it was in Unity, but it's got the effect. So this brick here looks like it matches this brick on the other side, like it's one brick, and that's what we want. Okay, let me just put this back to zero. There's the default state, and now it should look like it was in Rhino. Well, better, because we're utilizing PBR shaders, but yeah. So, all right. So that's how you fix bricked walls in Rhino.